Hey guys, Drifter here. Today I'm going to have a video for you about the power of single player gaming. The game that I'm showing off is the single player in Call of Duty Ghosts, and I'm showing off my favorite part of that, which is the Riley mission. I don't know what it is about it, maybe it's because I'm a dog lover and I have a dog, a dog, I like being the dog, this part is fun for me, but I recently learned some interesting stuff about single player Call of Duty and about single player games in general, and that's that despite my personal perception, despite my personal taste and what goes on on this channel, single player games are still by far the biggest and most popular games made in general. Of course, there's huge multiplayer games, but single player is often the biggest selling point of every single game. And I'm going to link you to something on Reddit, and I'm going to make this relevant to Call of Duty since we mostly do Call of Duty here. Black Ops 2 sold 24 million copies. We don't know for sure about Ghost yet, but I'm going to assume Ghost is hanging around 9, 8, 10 million at this point. But over the course of its lifespan, Black Ops 2 sold 24 million copies. Of those 24 million copies sold, would you like to guess how many signed on to any sort of online service that's signed on to Steam for multiplayer, that's signed on to Xbox Live, the PlayStation Network, anything to do multiplayer. Uh, if you guessed half or 80 or 90 percent of them, you'd be wrong. A little bit less than one third, about seven million people, or probably just uh, you know a little bit over one third, something like 28, 20, a little under 28, 29 percent of people ever even bothered with multiplayer once. That's the total number of people that have signed on since the game has been out, and it's less than one third of the total number sale. And uh, industry demographics and things that you can pay for and track indicate that most people buy these games, Call of Duty, Battle. Field and well, games in general just for the single player component, and that multiplayer in almost every game is actually an afterthought. The same is true of Battlefield. Surprisingly, Battlefield is designed to be a multiplayer game, but it has a single player campaign because there's a ton of people that only play single player, and to me, this is baffling. Um, uh, it's maybe it just goes against my personal taste. I do multiplayer only, I kind of left single player games behind a long time ago because I don't get a whole lot of personal satisfaction out of killing the AI. No matter how hard the AI is, I know I'm just beating an abstract concept. I'm beating a, a bundle of pre programmed thoughts and actions that, given enough patience, I know how to get around. There's unlimited tries and no real reward or punishment for failing. So that isn't as interesting to me as taking on real people. However, lots of other people enjoy the story, they enjoy the challenge, they enjoy immersion and a lot of other things that maybe I've forgotten about, maybe that didn't quite matter as much to me, or maybe I've gotten too old to pretend that I'm the hero anymore, that sort of thing. And going back to numbers, if you a lot of people bag on Ghost for having similar amounts of players as Black Ops 2, uh, if even if you went to, let's say, Black Ops 2, and you compare it, we'll, we'll do Ghost, that's easier, the numbers are easier here. Let's say we sold 10 million copies of Call of Duty Ghost, and at any given time there's like 120, oh, that's one system, my bad. Let's say there's about 250,000 people online. So of total sales, only about 2% of people are ever playing on any given day on Call of Duty Ghost. And the same was true for Black Ops or MW3, even if they had higher numbers, double, triple that. Okay, so on any given day, maybe 4 or 5% of the total game sales are ever online at the same time. And it reminds me of when I was in, ga uh, not GameStop, I was in Best Buy the other day, and there were some uh, two teenagers, and they came, I was looking for uh, some adapters for some of my, you know, recording equipment. They came in, and they traded in a couple of games, and they were arguing over which games to buy, like which ones to get, and they settled on a used copy of Battlefield 3 because, and I, I kid you not, Battlefield 3 to them had a better single player than the other games. They didn't have online and they just wanted the best single player game, so they got Battlefield 3 for single player. This is my favorite part of the uh, multiplayer fighting this wolf here. And when uh, Riley comes and knocks the wolf off and we go into the slow motion, uh, the only thing that popped in my head is like, No, doggy is going to die! No, must save doggy! And I saved him. Uh, really fun. And I just thought I'd put this in perspective that a lot of you wonder why the multiplayer doesn't get more work, why there's not a multiplayer only in Call of Duty, why we don't do a lot of things more multiplayer focused, and that's because the vast majority of the money is still in the single player in these games, which is why I would prefer the Chinese version of COD Online, and we could have a multiplayer only version and a single player only version, but that's not here yet. We're still stuck in that $60 cycle. I thought I'd give you this nugget of thought. I hope you found it interesting. If you did, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Drifter out.